Good day, Grade 10s. In today's lesson on exponent, we're going to be looking at the fact that if we take x to the m and we multiply it by y to the m, it's the same as taking the product of x and y and all to the power of m. So let's watch the little video. Simplify 4a squared b, and this whole quantity is being raised to the third power. Now here we'll just use the property. If we have the product of things, let's say I have a times b, and I'm raising that to some power n, this is just going to be equal to a to the n times b to the n. And to realize why that happens, let's just try it out. Let's just try it out with some, a simple example. If I have a times b, to the third power, what is that going to be equal to? That is going to be equal to a times b, that's to the first power, then times a times b, that's to the second power, times a times b, that's to the third power. That's exactly what, we're literally taking this expression and multiplying by itself three times. Now, we can just swap these around because of the commutative and the associative properties of multiplication. So if we just swap these around, just change the order that we're multiplying, we can rewrite this as a times a times a times b times b times b. We have three a's here, three b's. And so this over here is going to be a to the third. And this right over here is going to be equal to b to the third. So we have a to the third times b to the third. So it worked. And so hopefully that gives you a sense of why this property holds. Now let's apply it to the actual problem. So we have 4a squared b to the third power. That means that each of these components in the product are going to be raised to the third power. So that, so that means it equals 4 to the third power times a squared to the third power times b to the third power. Let me color code it. This third power here in magenta, that's this third power over here. I'm just raising, instead of taking the product first and then raising that to the third power, I can take each of the terms in the product, each of the, each of the numbers in the product, and raise those to the third power first, and then take the product. So that's what we're doing. And let's try to simplify this. So what is 4? What is 4 to the third power? 4 to the first is 4, 4 to the second is 16, and then we want to multiply 16 times 4. So 4 to the third power, which is 4 times 4 times 4, is 64. And then we have a squared, and we are raising that to the third power. Well, we know from the product property of exponents, that's going to be a to the 2 times 3 power, or a to the 6th power. So this is a to the 6th power. We got 6 from 2 times 3. And then finally, we just have the b to the third power. Let me do that in a different color. We just have the b to the third power, and we'll just write it over here. So we simplified this expression to 64 a to the sixth b to the third power. All right, great 10. So now you know how to use this property where it says that x, y to the power of m can be broken up into x to the m times the y to the m, or you can do it the other way around. Please practice all these properties. Make sure you understand them. Make sure that you can do them and then do the assessments at the end of the section. Have a wonderful day, grade 10s.